Once again, a very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard Delta 88, non-stop MD-88 service back to Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International. My name's Ross Davis. It's my pleasure to serve as your flight leader on this flight today. I'm so fortunate to be assisted by two of Atlanta's most outstanding flight attendants. Um, I've been flying with Delta for a little under two years, so I'm very junior to the company. But this aircraft is very close to my heart. It is the first aircraft that I took in training. It's the first aircraft I took on a flight as a official Delta flight attendant. So it does have a very special place in my heart. I want to take a second and let the rest of the crew introduce themselves to you, okay? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Kevin. I've been here with Delta Airlines for roughly six years, and uh, this is actually my first flight of uh, working this plane as well with the D88, and my first actual revenue flight was DC to Atlanta on this airplane. So this is a very special moment for myself and a big bittersweet to let this aircraft go over to Arkansas once we leave. So I just want to thank all the time and effort we spent on this aircraft from my crews to the pilots and, the, and you guys as well. And once again, I'm proud to be working this and I uh, hope everybody has a great flight. And ladies and gentlemen, my name is VJ. I've been with the company over two years, but I've been a passenger on Delta since the 80s, which outdates some of you on the plane already who weren't even born yet. Uh, but I remember flying this in 92 when this plane, the series of planes started making the line. As Ross indicated, this was the plane we were originally trained on. This is the plane we completed our training on, and my first flight was on an 88. It is a bittersweet memory, but we believe in Delta. We've been flying them for over 30 years, and we'll continue to fly them. So we appreciate all of you being on board today and making this a very special occasion for a plane that has been the workhorse of the industry and helped create many jobs afterwards. So thank you, enjoy the safety of our flight, and be with us. Ladies and gentlemen here at Delta, nothing is more important to us than your safety and the safety of our crews. We are using high-grade disinfectants on all of our aircrafts. We are wiping down all surfaces and also fogging aircraft between every leg. A few things that you can do to keep yourself healthy while you are flying to ensure that you are washing your hands off in soap and water at least 20 seconds, avoid touching your face, and also cough or sneeze into tissue. Your safety is our top priority. In just a few moments, flight attendants will be in the aisle, showing you a brief safety demonstration of our McDonnell Douglas MD-88 aircraft. At the conclusion of the presentation, should you have any safety-related questions, please don't hesitate to let a crew member know. flight tents in the aisle for the last ever safety demonstration of the MD-88. Before we depart, your seatbelt must be securely fastened at this time. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle, tie by pulling on the strap so it's low and tight across your lap. To release the belt, lift the top of the buckle. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened whenever the seatbelt sign is on. Even if the sign is off, keep your seatbelt fastened in case we experience unexpected rough air. Federal regulations require all passengers to comply with crew instructions, posted placards, and lighting information signs. Smoking, the use of e-cigarettes or any smokeless product, including chewing tobacco, is not allowed on any Delta flight. Federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying restroom smoke detectors. This aircraft has two forward doors, one on each side, four window exits over the wings, and two doors in the back, one on the side and one in the tail. The three side doors are equipped with a detachable slide that can be used for flotation. Once again, this aircraft has two forward doors, one on each side, four window exits over the wings, and two doors in the back, one on the side and one on the tail. Escape ropes are available in the overhead bins adjacent to aft window exits for use in a water evacuation. All exits are clearly marked with exit signs and instructions for operation. In an emergency, lights will illuminate the aisle to guide you to an exit. Please locate the exits near you and keep in mind, they may be behind you. In the event of an evacuation, leave all carrying items behind. It is unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, the panels above the lavatories and above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. 
If this happens, reach up and pull a mask towards you until the tube is fully extended. If you are wearing a mask or face covering, remove it before placing the oxygen mask over your nose and mouth. Slip the elastic strap over your head and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing even if the bag is not inflate. Secure your own mask before helping others. under or between your seats. Seat cushions can also be used for flotation. To use, pull up to remove the bottom cushion. When you exit the aircraft, pull the cushion to your chest with the straps facing away. Put your arms through the straps and hold your wrists. Please refer to the safety information card for instructions on how to use the white vest for children who weigh less than 35 pounds. If necessary, we'll distribute white vests for in lap children. And again, before we take off, be sure your seat backs are upright, tray tables and carrying items are stowed, and aisle armrests are all lowered. Then take a moment to review the last time ever the safety information card of the MD-88 in your seat back pocket. As we complete our final safety checks, let us know if you have any questions. We'll do everything we can to ensure you have a safe and relaxing last flight of the commemorative MD-88. Sit back, folks. Enjoy the one hour and 14 minute flight to Atlanta, and thank you for being part of Delta today.